everyone, it's Lisa with Ink and Inspirations, and in this video, I just wanted to share a little bit about the banner that I created for this Valentine's Day to hang in my home. It uses a lot of a retired product that I had in my stash, and I love when I can do that, but it has some current things and new things from the Occasions Mini as well. And there's one particular aspect that I'm going to show you that I modified uh, from my original banners uh, that kind of helps... Um, remedy not having the jumbo brads anymore that I used on the previous one. So um, I used the Love Letter Designer Series paper that was in last year's catalog. Um, it was on the clearance rack for a while and I got some then but I pretty much exhausted my supply now. I've got these um, the letters and it escapes me what it is. I'll have them up on the screen, uh, the screen excuse me, that I cut with my Big Shot in Riding Hood Red. I used my uh, Simply Score tool to score the little medallions that you see behind each of the uh, elements and I had some other stamped images. This was in my stash that I had used on a swap for regionals last year and I found this little stamped image from Wordplay in my stash of stuff that I hadn't used. So I just put all that kind of stuff together with buttons and ribbons and some tool and I'm uh, really excited to display this in my home for Valentine's Day. Um, the one thing I wanted to show you though is here where I used to use the antique brads, the antique um, jumbo brads. Um, that provided a really good sturdy um, holder for the ribbon that you suspend it with. Now they're not really heavy so you don't have to worry too much about it ripping through but I wanted a little bit more support than just punching a hole through the banner piece itself so what I did is I punched a three-quarter inch circle from Riding Hood Red and I hot glued it just like most everything on here is hot glued to the banner and I hot glued that on and I let it dry and then I took my crop -a doll and punched a large hole punch through that and the banner through that hot glue that had already dried and it made a really sturdy support and a good um, good remedy for not having the jumbo brads anymore. So um, I thought that was a real good tip to share with you. So uh, anyway, I do have a an online class where I take you step by step on how to make a banner similar. Really, once you make one, you just um, you can do just anything you want to by adding whatever stamps and embellishments that you want. Um, I'm going to have it on my blog today. I posted. I'm going to for a Valentine price. Uh, it will be on sale for the weekend through Valentine's Day, so be sure and go and take advantage of that, and you can start making these for yourself, too. If you have any questions, email me at lisa at inkandinspirations.com. Thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you in banner class. Take care. Bye-bye.